Questions and Answers from the Works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother On Visions Part 9 From the Mother Money belongs to no one. Money is a collective property that only those with an integral and general universal vision must use. And let me add a vision not only integral and general but also essentially true which means you can distinguish between a utilization in conformity with universal progress and a utilization that might be called fanciful but those are details because even errors even from a certain point of view wasteful uses help in the general progress they are lessons in reverse during sleep a sadhak had a vision of shri arobindo in his subtle physical body living in the subtle physical world he sent a report of his vision to mother who replied shri arobindo shows himself according to the need of each one and in the subtle physical the things are not as fixed as they are here attach more importance to the feeling produced by the vision than to details of what you have seen an experience mother had the day after the last conversation on february 16th it was really very interesting afterwards it's just a memory no longer the thing it concerned the creation of the material world the material universe in the light of the conception of the supreme in love with his emanation but the vision was all embracing as if i were on the other side the side of the supreme not of the creation and saw the creation as a whole with the true sense of progress the true sense of advance of movement and the true way in which all that doesn't belong to the future creation will disappear in a kind of pralaya it can't really disappear but it will be withdrawn from the manifestation and it was very interesting all that doesn't collaborate in the sense that it is a sufficient experience an experience that has come to its end was reabsorbed it was like the true vision of what was rendered as the last judgment it is something going on constantly that mighty gust of manifestation and there are things that have been according to our vision of time but that live on that continue to exist in the future there are things that exhaust themselves that's in the present and there are things that have no more purpose that cannot keep pace with the movement i don't know how to explain this and enter the non being the pralaya the non being the unmanifest of course not in their forms but in their essence that is to say the supreme in them remains the supreme but unmanifest from shri arobindo one who can have faith without visions and voices is much further on the true inner path than one who needs them to have faith visions and voices are not meant for creating faith they are effective only if one has faith already thus they nourish their egos but this capacity is by no means a sign of progress this is the vision of all existences in the self and of the self 
in all existences, which is the foundation of perfect internal liberty and perfect joy and peace. For by this vision, in proportion as it increases in intensity, there disappears from the individual mentality all jagupsa, that is to say, all repulsion, shrinking, dislike, fear, hatred, and other perversions of feeling which arise from division and personal opposition to other beings or to the objectivities that surround us. Perfect equality of soul is established. The vision of the self in its becomings. Vision is not sufficient. One must become what inwardly one sees. The whole inner life must be changed so as to represent perfectly in all parts of the being what is understood by the intellect and seen by the inner perception.